what's going on guys welcome back to another video i just finished changing the oil on the genesis i put some 5w40 in it made a little bit of a mess so i'm gonna go ahead and clean this up and pull the gin out a little bit and then we're gonna open this box and we got something pretty cool in this box all right so i went ahead and ordered some rear camber arms for the Genesis. Now, I'm sure you're asking, why do you need camber arms? And here's the reason. This wheel sticks out this much in the rear. And this wheel doesn't. This one's kind of like a flush fitment. And then this one is more of a poke fitment. And that's no bueno. So um, I got some camber arms to adjust the camber. I'm guessing one of my camber arms is bent. I'm finally gonna be fixing that today, which, which will be really cool and yes, Yes, I know my car is ridiculously dirty, but let's go ahead and get these out of the wrapping. That looks really nice. It'll actually be really good having adjustable camber because then I can actually, you know, just change it whenever I want, which is really cool. This actually looks really high quality. I'm actually really excited about this. And for those of you who are wondering, these are Godspeed camber arms and they, they look pretty much identical to the ISR camber arms. Honestly, they, they look pretty much the same. All right, so obviously the first step is to remove the wheel. So let's get started. All right, so this is what we're replacing today. This is the camber arm and that, that is definitely bent. That's, I know they're normally angled like this, but this is definitely been hit in the middle right here. There's a little rust spot where the paint's been been chipped off. So this is definitely bent more than usual. So let's go ahead and start getting this little camber arm off. All right, guys. So I've got both sides done. The driver's side was ridiculously difficult just because of like the angle that you have to do everything at. So if you're gonna do this to your car, just be aware of that. The driver's side is not easy at all. The passenger side isn't too bad. It's pretty It's pretty easy, straightforward. But the driver's side is kind of a pain. Um, so just keep that in mind. But look at this. We have the exact same fitment on both sides of the car. So it's about time since I've had this car, it's always had that bent control or, or no, bent camber arm. Um, and if you look at it, you can actually see how ridiculously bent it is. If I put these at the exact same angle, you can see this one goes up a good bit more than this one does because this one is definitely bent. So this fixed that problem. Um, I'm, I'm sure that was affecting my alignment and everything. So hopefully, hopefully my alignment will be a bit better now, but I'm gonna go ahead and like finalize everything and put everything away and then I'm gonna pull it out outside and we can take a look at it. So that's the God Speed Camber Arms installed on the car. I'm so glad to have these because, I mean, it fixed a problem I was having and it was really kind of messing with me just seeing one wheel stick out farther than the other. I'm absolutely exhausted, guys. I've been basically working on this car all day long and it's starting to get dark now. So I'm gonna go chill and relax. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.